Besides Philips' radical pivot to health technology, CEO Franz van Houten launched a sustainability program in recent years, pledging to fight climate change and implement circular solutions. I see sustainability both as a moral obligation, but also as a business opportunity. I believe we all need to take accountability for how we operate in the world. Uh, and Philips has uh, a comprehensive sustainability strategy. Um, we uh, have decided to become carbon neutral. And in fact, we achieved that already next year, uh, a net carbon neutral operation. Uh, we have a policy of zero waste to landfill. Uh, we have embraced circularity in our business model. Uh, what that means is that we want to get all our products back, starting with the medical products. And we, uh, we will be at around 15% of circularity in our, in our healthcare business. Could you do better? Uh, of course, 15% is not a lot, right? It's, it's thousands of products, but it's by far not where we want to be. And we have said by 2025, we want to take all our healthcare modalities uh, back from our customers. Um, and then we can either give it a second life or we can uh, harvest uh, uh, components from these systems and repurpose that technology for a second life. People think that, um, that sustainability is just corporate social responsibility. But I believe actually that uh, it, if you embed it in your business model, um, it, it doesn't have to be added cost. It is about how you do business. And so we have embraced this as part of our strategy. How does it benefit Philips in terms of the margins you generate, in terms of the cost savings you actually achieve as a result? Today, uh, our sustainability strategy, I would classify it as cost neutral. Right? It's not improving margins, but it's also not deteriorating margins. But think ahead, right? When maybe there will be carbon tax on businesses, then Philips is in a great shape, right? And um, our customers are increasingly looking at uh, sustainability as a criteria to choose a vendor. And then we have benefits. I see now governments in their procurement policies uh, having sustainability criteria. Uh, so we are in great shape. Um, moreover, I envisage um, business models where we do not sell products, but we sell the benefit of the product, right? And then you go to technology as a service. Um, and in that way, you get actually a deeper relationship with your customer. Instead of being transactional, where you ship a product and then you don't care, now you, you stay engaged with your customer to optimize the benefit of the technology. It's in fact a much better business model than just trying to be a supplier. I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.